Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie Extra Fancy unboxing. Today we have got the Teddy Bear doll and the Tiger doll. And they are both very cute, but not cute enough to tempt me at full price. So I did wait until they went on super clearance. I picked both of these up at Target by their yellow clearance stickers. Um, they did originally retail for $33, which I thought was kind of astronomical considering they don't really come with that much more than our regular Barbie extras, which retail at 25, which I still think was too high. Um, so <laughs> I did wait until these went on sale now their sticker prices say $9.89. I think I actually paid $7.05 for this one. And then I think I did pay the $9.89 for her, which that was well within the realm of possibility that I was gonna pay for them because I got the pink one to start. So, and I like these because they have pretty faces too. If their outfits are a little wild and out there, it's fine. Um, but I have got these dolls now. So we're going to unbox them. They are not on made-to-move bodies. They are on basic articulated bodies, which is fine. Um, but we are going to try and color match them onto some made-to-move bodies in this video. So watch the video all the way through if you want color matches. So here is our first one, our teddy bear doll. And she looks very cute here on the back. She's got some socks over her, under her, under her like heel sandals. She's got some long gloves, which I do like to see gloves. She's got this weird teddy bear capelet thing that I'm not sure why it's included other than to be another piece but it's interesting. Here is the UPC for her, in case you're trying to find her. Like I said, these have been out for a while already, so it's not something new. I waited for these to go on sale because I wasn't sure if I liked the fashions enough to pay the $32 price tag for the other two. For the Paris Hilton-inspired one, yes, I had to have her. Um, very cute. So, now that we've covered that, let's see if I can break her out of her box. The only bad thing with these Barbie Extra boxes is they are extra just tight in there, which I personally hate because it's too much effort to get the doll out of the box, in my opinion. So I just like to rip them out. So we're going to tilt down. So here she is, out of the box. She's got a very pretty face. I like her little bandeau knots. Very cute. Again, we have the little um, Barbie Extra Pets. This is a really good material, surprisingly. Um, I'm not sure if this little harness thing is going to be its own piece. I hope it is. Um, but she's got really long hair. So that's interesting. We are going to try to get this out as peacefully as possible after ripping the rest of the doll out of the box, but that's okay. Okay, so I think we got that part out, so that's good. So like I said, there's really not a lot extra that really comes with these for them to be extra fancy. So we've got this little purse. We've got a little ice cream for some reason. It's just like a random food piece. 
Um, we've got this cute little shiny metallic bracelet. I do like getting actual shiny metallic pieces. Uh, this is a throwaway piece for me because it's just a, it's a brick. It looks like a teddy bear. It's cute, but I don't know. Other than maybe cutting off the chain and just having it be a teddy bear, here's another bracelet. I don't think I would use that to style it all. Again, we've got some sunglasses that don't cover the eyes or let you see through them if they did because they are just solid plastic. See if we can. Okay. I think we got that. Oh, oh. Interesting. Very cute. Let's see if we can get the rest of whatever is over here holding her on. Oh, is it the teddy bear, I guess? Oh, yep. Yeah. So here's our teddy bear pet. No articulation on this little uh, extra pet, which is upsetting. I think we're just gonna take our gal right off. Yep. Okay, so here she is out of the box. Again, she's got just a little bit of a crimp to her hair. Nothing too crazy about her hair, which is nice. Um, we have got her little bubble skirt. That's very cute. Her cute little shoes with socks. And we do get that extra painted detail on the shoe, so that's nice. Um, here is another little bag that doesn't open. So we've got another brick. So, meh. So you get two purses. We've got this cute little, like, teddy bear Fitbit Apple Watch thing. Whatever. Bracelet. Oops, I just ran away as I set it down. Great. So that lost to the ether. It fell into my area of no return, of course. It fell off the side of my thing that has got my pile of uh, stuff to be reviewed. So I'll find that in six months. Um, <laughs> but I do love these gloves. They go all the way up to the shoulder almost. Like, that's really cute. Now, what I want to see is how this outfit looks without the weird little capelet. So that's how she looks. Very like, like kawaii. It looks cute. But this little capelet thing, I don't know why it exists. Like, it's cute fabric. But it doesn't attach to the skirt, which is like generally where you would see that go on. And I was hoping this harness piece was separate from the dress. It's not. It's its own. It's all connected. So that kind of sucks. Um, so really, your outfit is your dress, your gloves, and the little capelet. And I guess you could count the socks and the shoes. So, kind of sucks as far as an outfit goes. But, let me show you guys. Again, very cute gloves. A little bit more structured than, like, the Disney Store princess gloves but still not crazy structured because it still winds up just basically being mittens, but still fun. Uh, I don't 
think we've seen these shoe molds before, and I think there's a reason why. Uh, because they're soft, and they're really open. Like, those I don't think are going to stay on unless you have socks on. Uh, but again, no articulation at the ankle for these bodies. Cute little socks, though. Like... I mean, if you build an outfit around these colors, I'm more matchy-matchy. I would have preferred to have seen these in a single accessory colorized thing or in just like shades of purple compared to this dress. But let's look at the dress, show you how it's structured a little bit. So it does have the little between the leg underwear strap to keep things from rising up. And it is just like a bubble skirt. So it's sewn under, it's not a crinoline or anything. It's just poofed. And this is just like straight up ribbon. Um, I don't love the harness on its own. I would kind of be interested in just snipping it off. But unfortunately, this bottom part is not loose so at the very least you're gonna have this green sparkly piece that's right there which kind of sucks because I would rather take it off but it's still a cute little like dress so now our main thing we're gonna look at are the accessories so we've got these cute earrings all done in metallic silver and then two more necklaces, like studded collars, and those are great. So the accessory that we would actually put on her would be this one, because I match my accessories. I don't like to do random things. And now my question is gonna be, what shade is she? So we have this one, which I thought was gonna be a perfect match for her is actually looking a little dark, um, which is our curvy BMR. Or we have our petite BMR, which is also a pretty good match. But she looks a little bit lighter. Not entirely sure, but they've got that same uh, Bantu knots going on. Um, she could also be a wheelchair Barbie. Uh, the more recent ones, let me show you what that would look like. I have her chilling over here. So this is actually the older wheelchair Barbie. Let me show you. It's a little bit lighter than hers. It's not, not a bad match, uh, but she is gonna be a little bit lighter. That's the, uh, the older one. The newer one filming light is stuck on my chair as I'm trying to scoot back. This is our more recent one. As you can see, it's again not a perfect match, but pretty close. But she's going to look a little lighter. So I think our better bet is going to, and this is a uh, last year's holiday Barbie, is a good match for that wheelchair Barbie. FYI, the one that just came out. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make her petite because that way all of her accessories and things will still fit. And I think she's actually a better match. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to use our last petite body to, um, to get her looking good. 
because when the BMRs came out and came on sale, I bought them in bulk. And I am just now starting to get to the end of my supply of BMR dolls, which makes me a little sad because they are not as easy to find anymore. Um, but there are lots of doll options that are coming out in the future. Again, this body is now ready to go. I'm gonna get her a little ready. She doesn't have as much room to pop up as I'd like. She actually came off really easily. Again, when you are doing these dolls, uh, rebodying, there are a lot of different methods you can use. There's the color match. Again, it's perfect, but it's not bad. Uh, her hair is actually longer than her feet now, uh, just to keep that in mind. Um, and then we are going to put her necklaces back on. Just right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're gonna save our articulated bodies. I do save those. I don't donate those back or anything. Um, just the non-articulated dolls wind up going away. Now she is gonna be a little loose because she's on a on a petite now instead of an original body but it's not a huge difference it's just gonna be a little looser there in those um, like form-fitted spots but still looks really cute and we're gonna put those that little shoes back on I think that's the wrong one yeah And then, uh, this one. And again, I love the made to move dolls purely because they allow for you to wear any kind of shoes and be posed in a more variety of positions compared to some of our more classic classically articulated dolls. Okay. And her gloves come up to cover all of those joints, which is really nice. I kind of wish we got all of our articulated dolls with gloves. That would be awesome. Um, but that's how she looks. Again, they're not perfect um, because we have got our doll onto a petite and not onto an original body like she was. But I think it makes her a little more characterized which after a certain point of all the different face molds and things really is kind of the point. And we can put our little bracelet on over. And bada bing, bada boom. And there she goes back there. So not much of what makes her extra I'll wind up using, I think. I do like her outfit. It does make her look really cute, in my opinion. Um, but 
yes, we could have also used the curvy body or the last year's, um, like the, when did she come out? 2019, 2019 wheelchair Barbie fashionista um, is a good match also. But they're very cute. Now our second one that we've got, which is the, the tiger Barbie, extra fancy. She looks really cute. Again, we lose another accessory to her tiger because he gets sunglasses. Hers has got a lot going on. Hers was the least attractive to me in what I was looking for from this doll because I'm not sure what's going on. I think she's wearing pants underneath. I think this is a plastic overskirt. Like, it, it, there's a lot going on. Um, so we're gonna get her open. A little bit more of a look here on the back. Again, it's like an overskirt, I guess. I guess the theme is like a hint of leg without being a mullet skirt. Um, but she's very cool. She does have that a lot, a lot of metallic gold accessories, which I like because again, it means we get more of those matching accessory sets. So here is her UPC. Sorry about that. I messed with my auto phone, my auto focus, and now things are going to give me a hard time every time I move things. Um, but very cool. Uh, and we're going to uh, we're going to get her out of the box the same way I got the other one out, quick and dirty, uh, because I'm not going to do it nice and pretty. <laughs> uh, just because these boxes take way too much effort to get the doll out. If you are an in-the-box collector, we are completely of different minds. I don't want to view my toys behind plastic for the rest of eternity. Here she is, out of the plastic. She is very pretty, very pretty face. She is on a curvy body, which is great, but also lends to some problematics because it's harder to find the skin tone in curvy. Um, I do have one, I think. I'll show you guys some of the options that we have compared to others. But she is really pretty in the face. And I'm loving her gold accessories. Again, we'll get some more over here. We do get these gold, like, John Lennon sunglasses, which I'm like, eh. Uh, it's fine. And the answer is yes. Full pants underneath that are kind of the same material as the top. Um, so let's... Let's go down and start getting things undone. So we have seen these shoes before. I don't think we've seen them for curvy though, so that's kind of nice. Um, we have got a couple of things. So here's our little tiger. He's okay, he's got sunglasses too. Um, if you've seen my other Barbie Extra videos, I do tend to just like store those pets because they're not really that cute and I don't understand why Mattel keeps insist insisting on trying to match um, the MGA formula, which they give, you know, their little semi-articulated pets. That's it. Just take her out at that point. So I did miss some of these little things. I'm gonna do that off camera. 
just to get them out. She does have a little bit of tinsel hair, which is kind of in my uh, my doll don't list, but she's very cute, right? Like, look at that face. Not a ton of pixelation. You can see it a little bit. Um, I did get a pleasant surprise in that these have a secondary color on the earrings. So that's kind of fun. Um, I wish they would have also done it on the necklace, but that's a quick, easy little, like, minute with a paintbrush. Um, we have seen this purse before, and purse is a loose term when I say purse, because this is just another, another brick. Um, so we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to try to take this off. So this literally just comes off. It's an overskirt. It is like rain material, like raincoat material. Like I, I don't know why this was made. That's kind of been my theme with these Barbie extras, is that they have really good bases, and then the stuff they add on as extra is just kind of meh. So there's a couple of braids also done in there, because the side of her hair over here is braided, which I think is a cool little add-on. She's got these three little braids. Her hair is a little... A little iffy and it's because that tinsel hair really throws off how the hair feels but she's got a pretty good outfit you know they're the same material which is nice for me I love a matchy matchy set um, I don't love the shoes with it because I get that the hair is the pop of orange um, but mm, it's kind of eh and then the bracelet over here just feels very cheap and uh, and not like it works at all. So we're going to take that off if I could get it to come off. Jesus. Um, we've seen that bracelet before in fashion packs. Um, nothing too crazy about that. But I love everything that's going on up here. Like, from up here up, I think she's awesome, except for the tinsel, which I may pull it out, because FYI, your tinsel your tinsel generally will come out just like that. It's just like pulling out a little random thread. Um, because there's not a ton of it, but there's enough to just make it kind of meh. Um, so I've done it with like color reveal dolls before. It takes generally about like 10 minutes or so. It's not hard to just pluck out all these little tinsels. It can make your hair uh, plugs a little loose, but it's not an end all be all kind of thing take this part off. Sorry about that. The minute I touch the focus, it makes me do it immediately for the rest of it, for the rest of the video. So I'm trying to be on top of that. So we've got our little sunglasses. Um, they don't have any transparency to them. They are kind of cool because they're gold, but other than that, kind of meh. It's not an entirely throwaway piece but it's not a great piece. Uh, this is a brick purse again, but this is actually kind of cute because there is a lot of detail that goes into this. So you could prop, I've saved purses that are this mold before. We've got our big, our big, whatchamacallit, are big like stones so that's kind of fun I don't know how to look 
under this or if it's supposed to replace that. I'm not sure because I think these are the same height. Yeah, they're about the same height or length, however you want to say it. I say height. Um, like it doesn't look bad, but it is a little bit too much. Now, this is actually a painted gold. So it's got that orange painted on and it, you can tell that because the inside is that metallic gold. So that's interesting. Uh, so I would uh, I would style this. Um, I'm actually going to wait until we put our made to move body on to do that. Uh, and then we've got a second bracelet that is just straight uh, metallic gold. So not bad. It's a little a little chunky bracelet. Um, so that's it that goes into our extra fancy. So our next question is going to be, which skin tone is she? So I thought at first that she was going to be the soccer player and I was going to have to make her um, thin. And she's not a bad match to the soccer player. Uh, she has a little bit more orange undertone. So she's not going to be a match to Frida, I don't think. I do have a made-to-move breakdancer Barbie. She is one that I got secondhand. She does have a little tattoo on here that I need to fix. But I think she's going to be the perfect match. So it's not perfect, perfect. But as you can see, either of these dolls will work. This one is hard to come by. Uh, I have seen this doll go for $60. So she is no longer really a great rebody doll unless you find her with some kind of flaw um, remember missing hands can be swapped out from these bodies that's why i keep all of these bodies that i get because you can swap them into the holes for made to move dolls the same thing um, with dolls that are only articulated at the elbows that don't have the knee articulation and things like that um, but let me show you what I mean. So if we do the side to sides, they're all pretty close. She's going to be one of those in between colors that Mattel is doing a lot of, unfortunately, right now. Um, I don't think I have a Frida that I rebodied recently. This was a basketball player. Um, so basketball player Barbie, again, is gonna be a little pale, but will still work so you could make her tall. Um, I don't have a Frida and Frida would be, looks the third release that we got, our curvy doll, cause she's actually a little bit darker than our breakdancer made to move. There is another one that's coming out in a few days, and hopefully I will have a color guide for you guys out uh, by the end of next week. My weeks are going kind of crazy right now, so hopefully I won't have to worry too much about it. We are going to go with the Breakdancer Barbie. She has just a little bit of like an orange stain on her arm from somebody using marker or something. I think that's all that's staying in there. I haven't taken her other clothes off yet. But she came with everything, which was kind of surprising when I got her used. 
nothing on her legs, which is good. Um, but we are going to swap her out again. No, nope, nothing else. So that's good. Um, and like I said, I did pick this up used, so I'm not going to stress too much about it. Uh, the other option that you have for this skin tone is the, um, the Barbie style, or the at Barbie style doll number three. Yes, three was the curvy one. She is also this tone. Unfortunately, the cheapest I've seen her go for is pretty recently. She went down to 65, I think, which isn't bad. Like, that's not a bad amount for a Kirby doll with all the uh, stuff that she comes with, but I'm actually not a huge fan of her fashions. Uh, I did get two of her, um, but that was because one of mine arrived damaged more than I really wanted her kind of thing. But I'm actually going to Okay. Alright. So I've got my other little necklace my head. Now what I want to do first is put my necklaces back on because with our dolls like this, they generally have an issue keeping their necklaces on when they're multi-layered. So you have to do these big rubber bands that go over the neck and through the woods to grandmother's house they go um, but and it's just easier to do that without the head on because you can kind of just pull the uh, you can just pull your little things over and I like to do it under one and over the other. Bum, bum, bum. Just like that. And then we can do the same thing this one just like that and we just kind of slip it under for our other one And a good way to really kind of cement it down is to grab the back one and make sure the things are under it, but not as always easy to do when you don't have long nails. It's in there for now, which is good. And then we just put our head back on. She's ready to go, and she looks really good. And that's the color match for you guys. Again, she's a little paler, but not by much. Um, and then I prefer to have the rubber bands be on the bottom of the outfits 
not the top, because you can always slide under the necklaces like this, and it's a little bit easier to disguise those rubber bands that way compared to if they're over your clothes. And it's a lot easier to change your clothes when you're doing that, that way. So, we are going to put our outfit back on because everything still fits. Because she was born a curvy and she's gonna stay a curvy. And then we can put her shoes back on even though I'm not a huge fan of the shoes. I'll put the shoes back on, I'll work with the shoes, I'll make the shoes like me. Okay, so that's what she looks like right there. And then I think we're gonna put her little bracelet on. Right there just to disguise that just a little bit. Uh, I don't think she's gonna be able to fit two. That's the only problem with these harder bracelets is that they don't really fit on our curvy dolls with the harder metallic plastics, but she looks really cute like this. And then we can put her glasses on her if we feel like it. And she could just live that, that gold boss life. But, again, I think she looks really good. I don't like the over cape. It didn't make it fancy, it just made it ugly, in my opinion. Um, we're going to put her back there with her front. And as you can see, she is shorter. So, they're very fun. But again, those are your color matches. Uh, unfortunately, both of them are a little harder to come by if you want those bodies. Um, the Petite BMR is now about four years old and that made to move skater or break dancer came out in i want to say 16 so she's a lot harder to find um, fingers crossed the new barbie looks from the color block series is going to be uh, the skin tone i'm fingers crossed i hope she is because uh, if she is, I'm going to buy like 10 of her. Uh, but very good. Very cute. Uh, again, I paid like under $10 for both of these. And that was really the way that I wanted to do it because I wasn't sure about the outfits. I'm still not entirely sure about her outfit. I like her outfit a little bit more. It's giving like high-end athleisure wear. Like, if I did something else with this that wasn't an overskirt, I don't know. I could figure out something to do with this that would make it cuter, I feel like. Um, or if I just gave her, like, a green fur coat or something, it would be super cute. Ooh, or maybe one of the pink furs. That would be really cute. Um, but they're very fun. So if you guys have any questions about these dolls or any other uh, color matches that you're curious about, I do have almost all of the Made to Move colors readily at hand. Um, so they are pretty easy to get a hold of on my end. There are a couple, like the... Uh, the flower plants, uh, a black doll that was one of the yoga series ones from a couple of years back. Not the first series, but the uh, the second. 
she's a lot harder to come by for some reason. And I think I only have two of her in my collection. So I try to respond with a yay or a nay to whichever color schemes you guys are questioning. But in my videos, I do tend to pull out the ones that are most common for you guys to use if I have them readily on hand. Um, like I said, the older wheelchair Barbie is going to be a better match than the newer one for her. Um, but both of them will work in a pinch. Again, it's just going to be, you know, a slight tone difference for you. Her soccer player, basketball player are going to be better matches. Um, that's original and tall. I think there's going to be a petite in this tone coming out soon. Fingers crossed as part of the uh, looks line and maybe the, um, and maybe the curvy, I don't know. I'm not sure yet if they're going to be that tone or not. I haven't seen them in person. So fingers crossed on that. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments as always. If you like the video, leave me a like and follow along for some more fun unboxings because I have got a boatload more of after Christmas, after New Year's clearance sales. So bye y'all. Be good.